Welcome back. Now we'll show you the features of our scene view add-on API. Sometimes we get into situations where we don't know where we are within our modeling environment. Where's our object? How do we find it? We can of course double click on it in the hierarchy, which should be the conventional way, but that'll jump us who knows where. This need can be filled through the use of scene view add on API, the recent development. In Universe, here we have several pre made add ons. You can make your own through code or visually. Alright. Suppose we want to save the position of the camera focusing on our spaceship here. Well, we're going to open up the add-on panel where we place all our add-ons, ones we created and registered in the system. Ones that you may have coded on your own, which we'll briefly touch on later in this video, or downloaded from somewhere. Now we're interested in the camera, so we'll select the camera tab, and there's the save camera position function, the only one in the list. Okay, uh, we'll call it ship. Don't mind the Kyrillix, that'll fix itself. Camera position zero saved. In computer science, zero is the first integer. You knew that, right? Let's move on. Okay, why don't we make this our starting point? We'll call it the uh, all position. And there's our second camera position, camera position one. This is going to be our starting point. Third camera position right there. That's our trigger. Let's set a camera position there too. Now we've got this helpful little panel with camera position selectors. We can move this wherever we want it to be, of course, as long as it's in the scene view bounds. In its present incarnation, this add-on can memorize 10 camera positions, 0 through 9. So there's our ship, all position, start, and of course the trigger. The saved camera positions are different for every individual scene and in turn for every individual project. In other words, you have a project with some scenes and each scene can have 10 camera positions. This entire system is highly useful for the creation of game environments where you want to position the camera exactly as the player would see it. Alright, what else do we have? Standard to this plugin is a series of functions for animation. We've already shown these once, but I'll show them to you once more. There's our object. And here we can place through every frame of its animation. Moreover, something else we can do with this is set the first frame of the object's animation. In other words, when the program executes, this animation will commence from that specific frame as opposed to from the first frame as would be the default state of affairs. Okay, onward. Game object. Various functions here. Adding colliders for instance. This adds colliders to all selected objects. Mesh colliders and box colliders are available. This stuff can be modified further to properly address your needs. Well, there's a visual graph. Let's take a look at it. See? A simple way to modify this stuff to your specifications. Quite a large program, isn't it? Well, don't be daunted. Just take it bit by bit. Every aspect of the collider add-on we've selected is in here. In fact, this is the add-on itself. You could add new colliders or specify some other functionality, 
and everything will work. See, and when you close it, it saves your changes. Every single one of the API add-ons can be mod modified through code. Uh, you could use MS Visual Studio or Mono Develop or even uh, in a built-in editor. All of it will work. The system will provide you with a description of the add-on. You can see that over here. Everything is simple and self-explanatory to anyone with even a rudimentary understanding of this stuff. Well, see you another time. Thank you for watching.